Up in paradise, they drive more kilometres and pay much more for fuel. When it was low, I always asked mum, can you ever drop me off to a mate's house? And she's like, yeah, no worries, but whenever I ask now, it's just the fuel price is just too high now. In remote Broome, almost $2.50 a litre for fuel. My partner was working 200 kilometres away for a while and that was a real um, impact um, over time. So it's really, really expensive. Yeah, <laughs> so it's really expensive for me. I was really surprised, I was really surprised. We both have to use our vehicles for work, so yeah, it makes a, makes a huge difference. Soon, all of Australia will be paying more too. So we just have to grin and bear it. The reality is we're staring down the barrel of six-month highs uh, at the Bowser. The national average retail price of fuel was 194.9 cents a litre for unleaded last week. Driving the price, conflict in Ukraine and the Middle East, an improved Chinese economy and production cuts by the OPEC cartel. Crude oil has soared by a quarter in the past two months and that will flow through to pumps within weeks. We have had a, a rather gradual increase uh, over the past uh, month or so, so I would expect to see you know, those retail prices continue to push higher, but I think you know, back above $2 uh, a litre is certainly uh, a possibility in the latter part of this month. As those oil prices, those global prices continue to increase, it will get harder to find bargains across the country, um, and we hope to see some relief soon in those oil prices, because the last thing Australia needs now is more inflationary pressure. Rocketing sales of electric cars suggest another option. But Australia continues to rely heavily on a product that's dirty, expensive and largely sourced from countries we're not particularly friendly with. And with the potential for conflict in the Middle East to spread, a tight oil market might be getting more difficult. The voluntary cuts that were announced by OPEC at the end of last year are now really starting to take hold globally, so we are seeing a tightening uh, of supply at the same time that demand for oil uh, has been increasing. None of this makes things easier for people filling up. For a while banks were the target of many people's frustrations and now um, supermarkets are the targets and I think fuel companies will probably be next. Getting around, an expense you can't put off.